Led Zeppelin. And this song, the pronunciation is basically how a Cockney person would say Jamaica. So just say Jamaica. Uh, I always thought it was like dire maker, but whatever. Uh, funky title on this one. Anyway, so the uh, opening progression here, good for the intro, good for the verse. Uh, if you want to do the exact thing he's doing here, um, basically we're picking through some bar chord shapes. All right, and it's going to start with the C. So we're going to come all the way up here to the 10th fret. Okay, we're going to have our ring finger there, and we're just going to pick through like the mid sections of these bar chords, and we're going to add a little something at the end. So, uh, probably going to need some pinky action here, or if you're really quick, you can just drop down with a different finger, but good to get that pinky going here. So, uh, we'll be at the 10th fret of the D, 9G, and 8B, and basically we're going to pick down through it. Okay, come up back to the 9 of the G. Okay, so All right. and after we get through that like I said we're gonna take our pinky now hit that 10 on the high E here and slide it up to 12 okay so slowly All right. and uh, essentially we're just gonna change you know, chord positions, but kind of keep that same vibe and style. Uh, here it's going to shift slightly because we're going to go to a minor chord now. We go to the A minor. Okay, so we're going to be 75 5 on the G and B. Pick through that just the same way we did the other chord. Okay, down through it and then back up to the G. Okay, and then here we're just going to uh, use the pinky to go 7 to 8 on the E. Okay, so a little different. All right, but now uh, these next two chords, we're going to do them pretty much the exact same way we did that initial chord. Okay, so it's going to go down to the F now. All right, so just picking through the middle of that bar chord, 3D, 2G, 1B. Pinky here, we go three to five on the E, and this is a bit of a stretch, so I always kind of just have to come off this chord just to get that slide. All right. Now, uh, finish it off by doing the same thing at the G position. Okay, so five on the D, four G, three B, and then do five to seven on the high E. Okay, so kind of a cool little picking and sliding technique going on through this. All right, and then you just get that all down, get it up to the tempo here. All right. Okay, so go through that uh, intro, do that a couple times, verse, do it three times. And then we get to these kind of like uh, capping sections, the end caps there of like the verse where the first time we'll just hit this A minor chord, let it go for two measures. Okay. And after two measures, we kind of uh, keep that shape, but we can like uh, do this little bit where we're going to hammer on open to two on the D and then hit the one and the zero of that chord a couple times. And then just do the same thing on the G string, and then hit the one and open there. Okay, so it's just picking through it and hammering it on. Okay, and then just finish with the open to 2D, and then the bottom part of that chord again, the one and the zero. Okay, so just kind of a loose thing, just uh, hitting that chord and doing some stuff through it just to get it going again, so... go back through the verse again but the final time that we do that like just before we're going to transition to the bridge sections uh, basically you just hit that A minor and just let that go for four measures don't you don't really need to do the 
You don't really need to do those parts. All right, bridge sections here. Change up the strumming style. We're going to come up to the A minor now. Just keep it like a bar chord style here. Okay, so all fives, then seven and seven on the A and D. And uh, strumming on this, basically we're going to go one, two, one, two. All right, and that'd be the first measure of it. And we want to do that two measures worth of that. So we go. Okay, pretty simple. And then easy enough, we just take that A minor, switch it down two frets, make it a G, okay, and you just strum that the same way for the same amount of time. Okay, gonna do that twice. All right, and then we just go back and forth between those. We come down and we do this some picking technique here. Okay, it's going to go to an F chord, uh, but we just kind of do the middle section of it here. We're going to worry about the 3D, 2G, 1B, and we're just going to pick the D, then go the B, G, D string. Okay, so we're just going to... Okay, so just hit the, the 3D, come up through the chord, and then come up through the chord again. about two measures worth of that. Okay. Now we're going to just bring it up two frets for the G. And then this, we just kind of pick through it similarly, but then we like come up through it, go back down through it. Okay, so it'd be that 3B, 4G, 5D, and then back down to the G, back down to the B, and then come right back up. So we're just going down through it and back up again. Okay, but here we shift a little bit at the end of it. We do about a measure's worth of that. Then we're going to kind of like, uh, you know, scale down on it. So we're going to go uh, shift over here to where we're at the um, three on the D. Hit the open G with the three on the B. Okay. And then to a second on the D and then just hit open B, G, B. Okay, so we're just kind of like. Okay. So we're just kind of like bringing it down from the five, three, two on the D. Okay, that type of vibe. So put that all together. Okay, then we get back into our verse sections and then go through the bridge again and uh, eventually we get to the solo here. And it's a you know, fun little solo, a lot of bending action going on here. Uh, so it's going to start up here at the G, we go 7th fret, we're going to bend that and release it. Okay, and then just pull off 7 to 5. Okay, come up to 6 on the B, bend that. Okay, hit a regular six, go to five. Then we go seven, seven on the G, D. Okay, so it'd be like. Okay, now we hit nine on the G. Then we bend uh, 10 on the B twice. Okay. Hit a regular 10 to 8 on the B. Okay, then we bend 10 on the E. Regular 10 to 8. So uh, put this whole section together here. Next part of the solo, we're still at that 10 on the E, bend that, then hit a regular 10 to 8. Okay, bend 8 on the uh, B, nice slow bend and then release. 
Okay, now we're at uh, a bend on the seven of the G. Bend it, release, pull off to five. Hit seven D, back to five G. All right, uh, bend on the seven, slow release there. Then hit uh, three fives on the G. Okay, then eight on the B, bend 10, bend again, regular 10, eight, and then bend 10 on the E. Okay, so just put that section together for you. Okay, so just a lot of, you know, slow, a smooth bending and just kind of noodling around right in kind of a C major uh, scale there, you know. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.